This video was recorded in December of 2014, long before I had created this YouTube channel. For that reason, a few of the solder points were not properly recorded, and that's why I don't call this video a how-to. It's more of my experience installing the Atari Paws mod kit. I did take the time to record a bonus segment at the end of this video, so please sit back and enjoy. Okay, today I'm going to attempt to perform the pause modification with the pause modification kit that I received from Atari Age this week. So the cool thing about this um, kit is that it was it's pre-soldered the boards has all the circuitry on it already soldered so we don't have to do that all this all these are already pre-soldered all I need to do is solder on the wires and then connect it up to the Atari which is already as you can see has a video mod and the LED mod. So the next step is to do the soldering in a color-coded fashion. Okay, so here I have the loose wires that need to be soldered in to the circuit board. And I've opened up the Atari, which I've already modded with the video mod and the LED mod, which is right there. I had a failed attempt at modding the pause mod where I had to make a cut in the circuit. It's hard to see underneath that wire and I had to use that wire that's going across to fix it, to um, get it working again after I took out the other mod. So I'm going to try to get this Atari pause mod kit working that I ordered from Atari Age. First thing I need to do is to cut this wire, strip back the ends on both sides, and then link them to the wires coming off of the circuit board here. These are the solder points. Kind of looks a little bit sloppy, but Got the job done. The wire is really thin gauge, so it can't break easily just moving it around. I also made the cuts right here so I can solder those pieces on as per the instructions. Okay, so now I have it all in, I have it all wired up. It's pretty amateurish. Um, I have to switch right here, have Miss Pac-Man in ready to try. And so I'm gonna power it on and give it a go. Sweet. I'm gonna flip the switch in my hand. Oh, I just died. But... And I'm gonna flip the switch back. Hard to do with one hand. Oh. So I guess depending upon where you flip the switch, problem is I lose video when I flip the switch and then when I flip it back, with one hand it's hard, there it goes, <laughs> I lose a few seconds, but it is working. 
Now it's a matter of buttoning it up, getting it on back all together and see if it works. So I had previously soldered that red black wire to correct another issue and I just spliced it in half, cut it in half and spliced it into the mod and I placed the mod inside the protective sheathing on the motherboard and it's glued down right here so it won't be moving around too much. I do need to do something with the, the video mod, it's just hanging loose here, I'm not sure what to do with that. Um, one thing I forgot to do, which I have to do now, is determine where to put the um, pause switch. I've decided I'm going to put the pause mod switch right here because that way I can put my dust cover on and not be hassled with that poking out. It's already a tight fit for it, so I'm going to go ahead and drill right here. Oh, not bad, not bad. Got the hole there. Let's see if I can't shoot it through. Oh, it's still a little small. It's going to kind of wedge around it a little. Neighbor's poor alarm. <laughs> Hardest part, <laughs> screwing in this thing. Uh, I don't like the washer there. I'm gonna take that out. Leave that on the back side, or actually, just leave it out. I don't need it. Again, I'm gonna have the issue of the discoloration, so I'm just gonna sharpie around it like I did the. LED mod. Yeah. I'm going to go get a Sharpie, take that out, Sharpie it around. Move this nut. And you can watch me Sharpie it. Again, this is an old. Atari, but it's my go-to Atari. <clears throat> it's not real pretty, so I'm not too concerned about the aesthetics. And in the dark, you don't see it. Most of the time I play this thing at night. <laughs> okay. Run in there one more time. Actually, the final time. Hopefully, in the process of tightening this nut, I won't wipe off all the. 
Sharpie that I just put on there. That ain't going nowhere. Perfect. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Got the switch in, LEDs in, video mods in. I gotta get the sheeting back on. I'm always worried about doing this. Is it gonna work now that I put this back on? Is it gonna stop working? So I might go test it out. Side right here just to hold it down. Okay. I am going to go test it out and make sure it works before I do any further work. Well, when I tested it with the sheath on, it wasn't working, so I figured out something came loose, and that is this thing right here. So I'm going to have to re-solder that in to get this working again. Okay, I'm finally ready to test this again. Um, that one loose wire that was on the video a second ago had came loose and I had to re-solder it on. And when I, in the process of doing that, I desoldered the one next to it and it had to be re-soldered back on. And in the process of doing that, one of the connections came loose um, on the, the wires that I had glued together, or um, no, the word escapes me, that, that I had um, stuck together. That had came loose. So then I needed some more of that thin wire. So I, this, these wires that, that go to the switch were pretty long, so I cut some off of there. And then I put... I soldered it back on both of those connections back on the board and put the RF shielding back on and decided to test it out. And here we go. This is before I button it all up. Got my joystick. So what happens is when I hit the switch here. Kind of switches colors and then the screen I lose video and then I switch it back. It takes a few seconds and then I'm back. But I lost a man right there. So I'm gonna switch. Switch back. <laughs> of course. Because of the time delay on my video, on my L C D, I don't get the screen back instantly, so there are a few seconds there. But it looks to be working, so now all I have to do is determine if I'm going to glue down the video mod there to the right, and then button it up. In the end, I did have kind of a short, I think I still do inside the unit, I'll never be able to sell this um, modded Atari to anyone, I, I know what the problems are with it. I was able to get it back together, and... Uh, I've been playing Donkey Kong and I paused it, so it's on pause right now. And I went and did some other stuff. So come back and I'm going to continue my game to see if it's working. The pause. Boom! Here I was, right where I was. So, anyway, it's been a successful day. Um, the pause mod was very easy to install but I had complications because I'm such a rookie with soldering and it was a fun little project to work on. In today's bonus segment I wanted to talk again about the Atari 2600 Encyclopedia Volume 1. 
In the past couple of days, the book's author, Derek Slayton, has released the first episode in his video series entitled The Activision Decathlon. It's a very nicely edited video, and I assume he's going to cover not just this game, but all the games in his book. So I would like to encourage everyone to check this out on The VGA TV on his YouTube channel. It's highly recommended.